Good evening. My name is Ted Gast. I'm the Vice President for Development of Perlman Music Program, Sun Coast. Welcome. And to those of you who are Super Strings parents, thank you for sharing your children with us. We appreciate it. I want to make sure everybody understands the seating for tonight. First two rows, first two rows are going to be for the Super String students when they're done. The red, red cushion chairs are for our sponsors. The green ones are for our members. Those of you who have tickets are welcome to sit anywhere you want on the sides of the tent. There's going to be about an hour break right now. You are more than welcome to stay, keep yourselves comfortable and hopefully dry. If you do decide to leave, I can't guarantee any per responsibility for personal property that's left or that your chairs will be there. But whatever, everywhere you're comfortable, okay? Please enjoy. Good evening. My name is Dr. Brian Reck, and I am the Vice President for Education and Outreach of the Perlman Music Program Suncoast and Chair of the Educational Leadership Program here at USF Sarasota, Florida, Manatee. Um, on behalf of both, I want to thank you for coming out and braving the weather. Um, you're in certainly for a good treat. We're excited this evening for several reasons, and especially because tonight is the commu Community Foundation of Sarasota's Night in the Tent. So before I go further, I'd like to introduce to you Katie Schwabach um, to say her greetings from them. Hey, good night, or good morning. It's raining, I'm wet, I don't know. Good evening, everybody. I'm Katie Schwabach with the Community Foundation of Sarasota County, and we are thrilled to be able to sponsor Super Strings Night at the Tent with the Perlman Music Program, Suncoast. Um, I grew up playing the oboe. I can't imagine having to play the oboe right now in this rainy weather, but I'm sure everybody will uh, do a wonderful job. And I know it's so important to be able to have access to great programs like this when you are a budding musician, to have access to uh, people just a little bit older than you and better than you and people who are way better than you um, so that you can continue to grow on that path of that musical journey. So as the Community Foundation, we are thrilled to be able to support our growing arts community and our youth uh, to continue our legacy here in Sarasota. And thank you so much for supporting this great program. So this evening, our super strings, let me tell you just a bit about them because I'm the only standing th between you and the music. Uh, we have 45 students here, that, ages 12 to 18, who represent 15 different counties across the state of Florida. They are joining our marvelous PMPers, and um, you're in for a real treat. Um, these folks have applied for, have been auditioned, and, and selected to be part of this program, and we thank you, uh, their, their instructors, um, Ann Alton, Claudia Birdsall, Ken Braumeister, and Cynthia Wiley, uh, for supporting their work and getting them ready to play this evening. Thank you for being here. Our purpose is to educate and inspire generations of audiences and, and musicians. We hope that you will join us by supporting this organization and certainly enjoying the, the concert this evening. So thank you for being here. Mr. Perlman? So uh, we're going to do, um, you worked on this first movement of this Mendelssohn, right? Now, I have one request, and I don't know who is willing to tell me, what is the tempo that you studied it in? Can, can somebody play me like maybe one bar? You want to play me? Do you play ta? Is it ta? Go ahead. Great. I love it. All right. All right. Okay. So here we go. 
Now, now, now the PMPers have a challenge here. All right. All right. One, two, three, go. Bravo, bravo. No repeat, second. So, uh, was that a uh, lively tempo? Uh, was that a, a, a good tempo? Are you, did you play it any slower or any faster? Anybody? Or is that, that was it? That was it? the perfect tempo, as opposed to the perfect storm. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Right. Why don't we do that one more time? And you know, for me, what I would like to, to so we're not going to take the second repeat. We're, we're doing the first repeat, not the second repeat. I'm just following orders here, the people who study. So why don't we do a slightly uh, different tempo, and maybe just a smidgen faster? Oh, yeah? A smidgen? You know what a smidgen is? I certainly don't. All right, so a smidgen faster, but not faster than faster. One, two, three, four. Yeah. All right, 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 right. It's, it's, yeah. Think about it as, you know, very, very, especially when you see all those 16th notes. Just think about lightness. It's yum, get 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 Nice and light, nice and light. Right. Three, four.
question uh, uh, who worked with you on this is, is, is this person here where is this person you and you bravo that's great so um, I was just wondering if any if any of you have any questions or anything like that uh, from either myself or uh, your stand partners or whatever it is. I don't know if we need a microphone or not. Uh, if, if somebody, so does anybody, if whoever wants to ask a question, raise your hand and then we'll get you a mic. Anybody? You want to, no, I thought you did. All right. What's your name? So what's your question? How important do you think big competitions are to jumpstart? How important competitions are? Oh, you're asking the wrong person. <laughs> I'll tell you what, when the rain stops, I'll let you know. <laughs> you know what I would like to do? I would like to invite to the stage the lady that started this whole program, which is my wife, Toby Perlman. Toby, can you please come over? Do you want me? Is this on? What about this weather? We should do, I was thinking that maybe, does anybody know the Handel's water music? We should, we, we should do that here, you know? So, so you ask how important are competitions? Do you have any, any, I'll answer, but you can answer as well. Pam Pierce, what do you think about competitions? Anybody have a thought? 
You like them? Who, all right, let, let, let's, Hannah, let's, no? No, let's put it another way. Who has uh, been in competitions? Raise your hands. Well, quite a few. And so do you think that, can anybody would like to, what do you think of it? Do you think it's a good thing? Do you think that it, uh, it served a purpose? Uh, what? Does anybody have any ideas? We're so organized, you can tell, right? Can you hear me? Yes. Good, okay. Um, I think competitions are important in the sense that they set you personal goals that you have to work towards, you know, in terms of I have to learn this piece or that piece for this competition. But I think where the danger lies is that we get, one can get so absorbed in learning repertoire or trying to perfect certain pieces for competitions that we forget about personal development as a musician. And so we can, get, we can oftentimes get stuck in I have to win this competition or else I won't be progressing or else I won't be a better player and musician, I think that's really where the danger lies. We always have to be developing ourselves as mu both musicians and people. Yeah. Good answer. Good answer. Anybody else want a super strings? Just raise your hand and we'll get you a mic. Nobody? Ah, over there. Okay, so my question is to Mr. Perlman. Um, I wanted to know, um, I personally believe that music has like enriched my life, and I do believe that it's enriched at least most, if not all, the people on this stage. Do you, how, in what way has music enriched your life, and do you, like, if you hadn't done music, what would you have done instead? If I didn't have music, what would I have instead? Yes. I'd be a cook. Oh, cool! <laughs> awesome! I love to cook, you know, I'll be a cook. No, well, music, look, music, I was, I was born in music. Uh, in other words, I wasn't actually born in, into music because my parents did, were not musicians. But I just um, happened to uh, listen on the radio to do violin playing, and I thought, that's for me. But it had nothing to do, you know, my parents didn't, uh, you know, it wasn't like my father or my mother were teachers, and there was music in the house all the time. It, there wasn't. There was just some stuff that you heard on the radio. So I think that each one of us, uh, you know, when we are here, we have made a commitment in our life that we want to be musicians. And that's really the most important thing, is that you have to have a passion for what you're doing. And, uh, and if, you, if you do that, then uh, you'll be happy with what you're doing. The, the goal is to be happy with what you do uh, with what you are studying for and eventually what you're going to do for a living. And that's the most important thing, so to, to make a living and in something that you love rather than something that you have to do because you don't have to, to make a living. Uh, do you need an umbrella for your fiddle? Yeah, because we don't want... Is it, is it raining here? Oh, so move away from the drip. Yeah, take a trip away from the drip. Mrs. Speed, do you have anything to say about uh, no. the music, uh, you know? Life? Life and enrichment in music, and, and et cetera. Well, I, I do think that uh, an evening like this one, um, the, the program that you have here with these kids is absolutely wonderful. It feeds our souls. They, everybody wins especially the kids. They, who, who knows, if they hadn't been exposed to this, their life would have been different. Probably not as good. And who knows who on this stage will end up by making a life in music that they love and that they enjoy. And it's up to us to make sure that these kinds of programs continue. Because, well, never mind. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, nobody asked me to say that. I just think it's, I just think it's true, so. 
they're lucky and we're all lucky too. And I must say that the level, first class, really terrific, really, really, really terrific, really terrific. Anybody else? Yes. A microphone. Just talk. Just put it really close to the microphone. Like, like this? Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Is there any instruments you've ever played besides the violin? Is there any instrument that did I did I play besides the violin? No. <laughs> I just I just play the violin. You know. I mean, it's a lot of. It's, it's enough, you know, I mean, you know, you know, I mean, I try sometimes to play the viola, but I leave that to the viola players, you know. Over there? Yes. What's your favorite piece to play? My favorite piece to play? Yeah. This is my favorite answer for this question. The one I'm playing at the moment. Nice. No, I tell you, no, seriously, you know, I always believe that if I don't like a piece, I don't want to play it because I have to. I just don't want to play it, you know, but if so, luckily, some of the great pieces written for the violin are actually wonderful pieces. So I don't have a problem. But the other day I was listening to something and I said, no wonder I have never played it because I don't like it. So now it's all a matter of taste. You know, some people said, you know, that piece that you don't like, I think it's a great piece. So it's, it's, it's a matter of taste. So I, 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 if I want to do justice to something that I play, I should really bond with it and really like it. So, so, so whatever, whatever, I, whatever I play that you hear is something that, that, I, that I think is a, good, is a good piece. So that's that. Yes? What inspired you to play violin? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't what inspired you to play violin? What inspired me to play the violin? Nothing, just, just the, the sound. You know, the sound... I'm very curious, anybody who played the, uh, when you started to play viola or cello or violin, what made you play it? Anybody? I mean, it was just because, yeah, what made you play the cello? For, did you always want to play the cello? Your uncle used to play the cello. Ha ha. So, and you, and you like it. Well, that's, that's good. You know, just because your uncle plays the cello doesn't mean you have to like it. But, but it's good that you do, so it's very nice. Uh, does anybody have some, some uh, relative who played the drums and then you decide, yeah, that's not what I want to do, <laughs> and, and do something else? Yeah? Um, were there any times that you felt discouraged with music, and what would you recommend to do to combat that? All right, that's a very good question. Was there any time I felt discouraged? Not really. Uh, the thing is that a lot of, when I was, when I was, uh, when, when I was growing up, I, my job was not to feel discouraged. It was actually my job of my parents to feel discouraged. If there, if there, was, a, if, if there was something like that. So I was, you know, I was just going along. The only thing I didn't like, uh, which I'm sure some of you do or don't, is practicing. I hated it. And, uh, and uh, I felt discouraged that I had to practice. <laughs> so, uh, no, uh, you know, I, I didn't feel discouraged. I just felt that there was a real pain. But I had to do it. But uh, after, you know, I mean, I was very lucky, you know, because I was... Uh, you know, when I started to play concert, things were very, uh, very, you know, got nice, nice for me. You know, they were successful, and so I did. I did not feel. I always felt that I was very lucky to, to be able to to be successful and and to, uh, and to play uh, and to play things that I that I like. So, so I was. But in answer to your question, what do you do? Well, the important thing is if you like what you do. That's the important thing, you know. Do you like music? And remember, music is something that you can do not just one thing. Like if, if you are playing an instrument and things are not going very well for you. For example, let's say that, that you, you're, you're unhappy what, with what happens. So you can, you can do, 
You can play an instrument, you can teach, you can play chamber music, you can play an orchestra. There are so many things that you can do in music if you like music. You have to do it. If you just say, you know what, not for me. Well, choose something that's for you. You know, choose something that you love. You know, one of the great things about what I do, and I'm very lucky that I'm able to make a living in something that is so, that's so as in, in great art. So, yes. Hi. What did or do you do to strengthen your technique and really focus your practice time? What did I do to strengthen my technique and focus my practice? Well, I'll tell you two words. Practice slowly. We all know about that because that's all I, I, I care about. And, you know, and I will repeat what I say after that. If you practice slowly, you forget slowly. <laughs> if you practice fast, the next day, forget about it. Yes? Yeah. No, because, you know, sometimes you, you, you say, you know, you practice something that's really terrific. You know, we can really play the next day. I thought it was very good yesterday. Yeah, well, the next day you forget, so you have to practice again. So the important thing is to practice slowly and, you know, let, let our brains be good sponges, you know, so that they can soak things. And you cannot do it. You know, I always like to give an analogy about when you have a sponge in your hand and you put it in water. If you put it in water quickly and you take it out, there's hardly any water in the sponge. But if you put it there and you let the water soak in, then you get out and, you know, there's, it's full of water. That's what our brain is. You know, so when we're practicing slowly, the information that we are giving uh, from what we are doing with our fingers slowly seeps in and then slowly it becomes better. There's nothing, it's not like overnight, overnight like in a, in a, you practice for an hour and then and that's it. It takes a day or two days, three days, a week until you get, let's say, a, a passage that's good. So don't be discouraged if for the first time you practice and everything sounds pretty good and then the next day it's back to square one. That's normal. That's normal, you know, but everything uh, sort of improves uh, slowly, but the minute it improves slowly, it'll stay with you. So, uh, any, any, uh, yes. Who is your favorite violin maker? My favorite violin maker? He's dead. <laughs> well, uh, well, I have two of favorite, they're both dead. One of Stradivarius and one is Guarneri. Are you, you are, you're probably talking about today. Well, there, there are quite a few uh, good ones, um, uh, but, um, but I'm, I'm lucky that I've had this very nice instrument that I can play, and uh, very, very lucky. And uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm um, unlike you, uh, I, 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 well, I'm at the age where I stop looking for fiddles, you know. You know, usually when people are young, they said, oh, I heard about this great violin, blah, blah, blah. I have, I have one violin, it's great, it's a Strad. Thank you very much, I'm happy, <laughs> I'm happy. I think we have one, one room for one last question, I think. Maybe Mrs. P can answer something. Um, do, you prefer, um, uh, do you prefer teaching or um, performing more? Um... Both, both. I mean, the thing is that if you teach, I, I, all I can say to you, all of you here, I don't know how serious you are about playing the violin, but do not miss an opportunity to teach. Because when you, I, and, and I'm going to repeat, you know, stuff that I say all the time. When you teach others, you teach yourself. And I think that uh, Mrs. P can, can, don't you think that my, my teaching uh, did, didn't do any harm to my playing? No. No, you're playing better and better. And that, I think it has to do with the teaching. I agree. really do. It's, it's like because you skip, you know, all of a sudden you talk to yourself and you say, what am I doing here? And then I say to yourself, well, you're the teacher, tell yourself. So I'm telling myself. I think, I think it's, it's totally correct. So even if you teach youngsters who are maybe really, really beginners, it's very important. Don't miss an, If you have a chance, do it. It's very important. You know, it just... It broadens your mind as to what you are listening for and what you think is good, and so on. So anyway, I want to thank you. I think you sounded terrific. 
and uh, keep, you know, if, if, you are, if you want to be musicians, more power to you. It's terrific. You sound wonderful. So thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Reset the stage very quickly and then get orchestra started. So, if it was a beautiful night out, I encourage you to go out and look at the stars, but I'm staying here. Uh, so, I guess, I guess, guys, stay here because we're going to do a group shot. So, if everybody can come to the front edge of the stage. Give us a give us an A, please. So um, we're going to. Uh, uh, rehearse uh, one of the great uh, works for string orchestra, uh, the Serenade for Strings by Dvořák. And uh, he wrote this uh, piece in 12 days, which is quite remarkable, all these notes. Uh, I, I, didn't, uh, I, I would love to add them all up and see how many notes per day he wrote. But, and, and even nice ones, too. So anyway, uh, so we're going to do uh, the, the finale, the fifth movement. Um, and and this, this one is, I mean, like there are basically two uh, serenades which are in the repertoire uh, of the strings which are considered the, the, the great serenades. One is the, the Tchaikovsky one and, and, and the Dvořák. So we're going to do the last movement, which is challenging. Uh, well, everything is challenging when you want to make it sound good. So let's see if we can get up to the challenge and uh, get up to the challenge. I don't think that's English, but never mind. <laughs> all right. Uh, so are we all tuned? Yes. Okay. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. One. <laughs> One more time. I'll give you two beats.
less, less. Okay, so uh, there was a couple of places that I'd like to go over. Uh, so uh, can we just do, please, uh, can, we do, can we do from 45, 6, 7, 48, from 48, I'll be to 48, okay? For, no, 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 I'm sorry, I'll be to 47. Ta -tom. All right, I'll be to 47. <laughs> yeah, okay, so. I would love it, I would love it if there was, do you have a piano at, uh, at the beginning, at the end of bar 64? Yes? Okay, and then you have two bars later, you have pianissimo, yes? I would like to hear, ta 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 Really, I'd like to hear the step from the piano to the pianissimo. Right now, they all sound the same. All right? So can we just do uh, one more time from, uh, uh, let's do from uh, a bit to, of 55, a bit to 55. All right. One, and. All right. We are, you're you're going to start right at, four, at 45. Uh, at 50, I'm sorry, 55. I'm blind. 55. All right. <laughs> You are ta 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 ta. You are not there having it. I'm 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 starting a bar after your ta ta. All right. So here we go. And.
Okay, one more time, one more time. Why don't we start a bar earlier so that I can, we can hear the lovely entrance of the cello and the bass. Pom pom, so that's a upbeat to bar 54. All right. And. No, not too soft. Okay. Yeah. Now, now that you now that you're playing this incredibly difficult uh, passage, can you do for me, please, at uh, bar 96, 7, 98, at the end of 98 and 99, and so on and so forth, a crescendo. That's written, and then we we drop to a pianissimo. So, everybody, everybody, you have pianissimo, yes at 102. I need to hear that. Otherwise, it'll sound all nicely, but this is much more interesting. So, can we, uh, can we do from where the viola is at? 86. Upbeat to 86. Ta -da, ta -da. All right, upbeat to 86. Got it, everybody? All right, one, two, one, and. Crescendo. Crescendo. Diminuendo. Pianissimo. The first one was ta 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 ta, and then the second one is fortissimo. I want to hear it. You know, it's the you know, I mean, all of the notes that you're playing this are terrific. The the the, the following of the dynamics is extremely important. You know, you've got to do it. It makes the whole piece much more interesting. So, and please don't push me. You know, I hear ti da ta ta ti da ta ta ti da pa pa da pa. Don't push. I feel that I'm being pushed. I don't want to be pushed. Just don't push me. Don't push me. All right. So um, uh, let's hear, please. Uh, let's write at 125. Everybody. All right. 125. One, two, one, end. Singing. Wow. 
Now watch. Now sing it really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cello. Can when you have ta da ta da ta da, can that be slightly um, more uh, less uh, marcato? Ta da ta da ta da ta da. In other words, you can still do the same thing, but I hear now too much of the. You know, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. can I just have you play that uh, right at uh, 204? Two, oh, two, oh, All right, one, two, one, and go. Yes, yeah. So uh, everything, you know, you, 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 you do the same thing, but just slightly more cantabile. All right, so can... can um, let, let's do it right from uh, 180. 180. Everybody. Okay? What the, what the, what and. Nice. No, same thing. Second violins, you know your your B sharp, da 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 da. -da make sure that it's vibrated, and make sure everybody, you know, Shelly, please, when you uh, when your last notes, da 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 da, -da always make sure that it's vibrated, so that you hand it over. Everybody, last notes, you know, when you have you have four no five notes, your last note, I need vibrato at the end. Your F sharp, I need a vibrato at the end. All right. So can can we just do um, uh, right and, and and please watch those chords. You know, I, this is second violin. This is not you know everybody's gentle gentle chord. Uh, right at uh, two hundred and fifty two. Right at two hundred fifty two. Gentle. Yim to di ra ra ra. Yeah. Make it make make it mezzo forte. It doesn't have to be fortissimo. One and. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Uh, Cellis, can I hear you? Uh, three, uh, 266. Just cello. Da -da 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 -da. All right. One, two, and go. Yeah, again, one more time. Da -da 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 -da. Very, very, very melodic. One, two, and go. Yeah, now can I have violas there? Uh, can you play for me 270? Uh, play 268. 268, just violas, 268. Uh, and. Wow, 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 268, 268. You know, first you have two, two bars of whole notes, yes? Yes? Yeah, you sure? Positive. Okay, one, and. 
Yeah, but, but there's a lot of variety here. Intonation variety. Especially the first note. You know? One, two. Yeah, that, that G, you know, and the, the F sharp, the, the, the A sharp, I'm going to hear, uh, nice, nicely uh, uh, sung, right, the same place, huh? yeah. yeah, watch that second bar, yeah, the A sharp, the A sharp to the G natural, all right, all right, again, and one more time, yeah, yeah, now can you give me a little more, with a little more bow, yes, and Nice. Now, can, can I have the cellos from uh, at 268 and viola join us? So start, everybody started at cellos and violas only, 268. Okay. And. Again, again, I heard something weird. Okay. Uh. All right, now, and so can I, can I have everybody please? Uh, the same place, da -dum, ba -dee, da -da -dum, you know, when the second violins go, uh, that's the uh, bar uh, 252. 252, everybody. Gentle with the chords, one, and shh. Continue. All right. So, uh, what? I'm, I'm still not happy. You know, I, you know, people are. They sound scared. Don't be scared. Just play it out. You know, you know, you know. One more time. One more time. And can I hear the first violins? And the the bam da dum da 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 da. Yes, I want to hear two fifty two. You have an A. All right. Two fifty two. Uh huh. And. Everybody, everybody. It's, it's got to be the humidity. I mean, it's like, you know, it's like a, an elixir of, of, of putting to sleep, you know. All right, here we go. One, and shh. Pianissimo. Now you start your crescendo. No, 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 it's fortissimo. That's fortissimo. Don't, don't make a diminuendo yet. Diminuendo comes a bit later. You have four bars of yapapapapa. All right? Right from there. Uh, let's just do, uh, let's just do 301, 2, 3. 303. 303. All right? 303. 1, 2, 1, and.
uh, vibrato but they are not open. Much better, much better. Let's do, let's do the first movement. First movement. I hope you remember where you're sitting. I'm thinking. You're thinking. I'll try and produce, pro, I'll try and produce something. Probably, I don't know when, but, uh, but we have an, uh, another three, four rehearsals, so we can do it. Yeah, yeah, can that ta, 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 can that be slight tom, 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 not quite connected, tom, tom, otherwise it sounds like one note, all right? So, uh, so can we just do, please, uh, 20, 20, everybody. <whistles> Three, and. Mendelssohn.
Yeah. Can I have Can I have in the cellos? You know, this is. I don't think. Uh, would you say that this is a particularly uh, difficult uh, passage? Is it? All right. So I need. I need. I need ice cream here. You know. I mean, I see people in the background. Can I have just the cellos right from there? Right from there. Because I know how you can play. You know, you all play fantastically. So I want to hear it. One and. One more time. Better. It's getting there. Better. One more time. Okay? And. <laughs> All right, everybody, please. Right from there, which is what? Uh, 43. 43. Really thick. 43, everybody. One, and. Can we do it? Can we do just this one more time for intonation? Yeah, pa 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 ta ta ta. Yeah. Can we just do right from 76? 76 with the upbeat. Right. One, two, three. Violas. 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 One more time. One, two, three. What? So, you know what I'd like to do? Uh, I would like to do a little bit of the third movement because that's a tricky one.
And you know what I would like to do? Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna curse me. I want, I want, I want, uh, I want to hear. I want to hear the first three bars by stands. All right. So I want di da dum pam pam pa da 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 dum pa yam pa dum pa dum pa dum pa dum. That's it. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Is there something? It's not funny yet. After you, after you play, maybe it'll be funny. Right, right. All right, now, that, I, can I have a little vibrato on the A? Now, da, 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 da. Unless you're doing, are you doing it um, harmonic? Yes, you are. He said no, you said yes. Already it's not together. All right, second stand. Ah, don't rush. Da 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 da. Again, one, two, one, go. Good. Okay, and you know you should do it harmonic. You should do harmonic. Third stand, please. Great. All right, next stand. One, two, one, go. All right, everybody together, but not rushing. Ti, da da, da da, da da, especially the dotted ones. One, two, one, go. Now, beautiful, great. Now, can you reduce it by about? Uh, half a half a thing of uh, dynamic, slightly less, but the same. You know, one, two, one, go. All right, everybody, everybody, but please don't rush. Da 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 da. That's that's got to be very steady. All right, here we go. Beginning. Yeah, can I have just, uh, can I have second violin at 59? Second violin at 59, just second violin. One, two, one, go. No, sostenuto. Not together. Not together. Careful, careful of the tight. Um, ba da da di. Right, let's start from uh, let's start from 65. And watch the tied notes. One, two, one, go. One more time. One more time. That was gorgeous. One more time. One the same place. 65, one, and. Good, all right. 
So, all right, now everybody, please, we are starting at bar 59. 2T, everybody. Da -da 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 -da. One, two, one, and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, 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 can I, can I, I'd love to hear a little bit of that A. Sometimes you are a little reticent there. So can we just do right there uh, at the Poco, uh, 85, 86, 88, 88, everybody, the Poco Ritardando, 88. One, two, one, and.
very good. All right, there are there. I, I still, I still feel. Can I? Can you play triple piano in the tranquilo at the 294? Second violins and violas. Really, I mean, all your sustained notes. I mean, just two hairs on the bow. Can I just? Can I hear that? This, the same thing. Uh, uh, also, also at the beginning when when the cellis have bump, 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 bump the eighth notes. All the sustained notes less. All right, can, 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 can we just do it right? Um, uh, uh, 286. Okay, one, two, one, and. Yeah, 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 everybody. Yeah, yeah, including the first violence, please. Everybody, 286. Okay, and. Now, nothing here. Can you use the entire bow, please? Can I hear that? First violins, when you start, uh, it, 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 when, you, when you play 321 and 22, and second violin, don't, don't, don't hesitate, yes? So can, can uh, right from the accelerando, 316, 70, 318. One, and. It's more like now. Can I have everybody? Everybody? Three, uh, what is it? Three, 16, 17, 318, yes? One, and. It's better, you know, it's like the minute and then you use more bow, it becomes <coughs> bolder, bolder. All right, so I'd like you to, I'd like to start this and I'd like you to feel comfortable in the tempo, like I always say, da -da -da and especially, da -da 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 -da. don't rush the, da -da 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 all right, I'll start you off and then you play by yourself, beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second, first violins. I, I'm not. I'm. I, it can be even better. Just play me the first. First violins only. Beginning. Beginning yes. One and. Yeah, yeah, you know what, you know what meets really articulate da -da 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 is a bar, a bar 10, 11, 12, because it's in the, it's in the legato. Uh, can you, uh, are you playing it like it's written? Uh, are you slurring eight? Or are you doing four? Good, okay. One more time. Beginning. One, and. Yeah, yeah, but, but, but you know, da 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 dum bum bum you know, the C, the C, vibrato, da 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 dum bum it's not da 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 dum bum it's got to be alive, life, right? One, and. Yeah, that, that was 99% fantastic. Yeah. At, 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 at 15 and 16, it started to get a little less than fantastic. Just good, but not fantastic. 
So can we do it? Can you can just play, play for me uh, 13? Dum, da -da -da -dum, da -da -da -dum. 13. Right? And. Ah, it started great, and then you. Uh, same place. One, and. Can you do it like one more time so it was no accident? One, two, one, go. <laughs> All right, everybody? Everybody? You know, just it's got a sparkle. It's got a sparkle. It, it, it sparkled in most part. Be beginning, two, three. I want to hear the 16th. 16th notes. Three, four. Yes.
or sustained notes less, especially here. Same tempo. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know about you, ladies and gentlemen, but we are finished. <laughs>